Hi guys, welcome on my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to be here for a new tutorial for Easter, which is Little Chick. I know it's not very original, but I felt like it was a classic. So I made like a easy pattern uh, for beginners. So you see this one with this yarn. You can do it if you are a beginner. This one a li with fluffy yarn, it's a little bit difficult to see the stitches. So I will not recommend you to start with this one if you are a beginner. But anyways, I will show you step by step in the tutorial, round after round, how to make this little chick. Uh, there is a free pattern on my blog if you want to have a written version but if you prefer to print the PDF file you can find it on my Etsy shop and by the way thank you so much for everyone who are purchasing my patterns it really helps it supports my channel and it supports my life in general so thanks to you I can have a living so thank you so much the, the link is right here if you want to purchase on Etsy now, if you have any question, please let me know in the tutorial. I'm really happy to answer every question. And let's get started with the supplies. For the supplies, the links to purchase the same supplies as mine and similar yarn available in Europe are in the description. The use of different supplies from what's indicated may vary the final result. So you don't have to use the same brand of yarn, but make sure that the weight category is the same for a similar result. So for chick number one that is a little bit bigger than chick number two, you will use a hook set a uh, seven millimeter, sorry I start speaking in French, seven millimeter and ten millimeter. The main yarn is parfait excel in color sunshine and the weight category is jumbo seven. I used less than one skein. Then for the beak and for the feet, you only need a very small amount of Parfait Chunky in color Tangerine and the weight category is Super Bulky number 6. So for chick number 2, you can tell it's a little bit more fluffy and a little bit smaller than chick number 1. I actually crocheted two yarns together. So I crocheted Parfait Chunky Sunshine with Little Bunny Yellow. Together. So like that you have the fluffy effect, Parfait Chunky is super bulky and Little Bunny is bulky. And then for the, for the beak and the feet I use a little bit of color tangerine in Parfait Chunky. So for the other supplies you will need a yellow cotton yarn for the hair of chick number one. And also if you want to sew the elements together you will need some thin cotton yarn. I don't really like sewing so um, and also like to save time in the video you will see I use hot glue just to make it faster and easier for me but you don't have to use hot glue so you can sew all the elements together with a cotton yarn yellow it's better so it match the little chick. I recommend you to um, for the darning needles to have curved darning needles you can see on the picture the link is in the description it's just easier f i mean according to me it's easier to sew the plushies together i like using curved darning needles then for the safety eyes for chick number one that is bigger you will need 12 millimeter safety eyes two of them and for the chick number two you will need a two nine millimeters then lab counter to keep track of your uh, rounds, stitch markers as usual, and some stuffing. If you have any question about the list of supplies, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment. So the following video is a step-by-step -step tutorial to crochet the chubby cheeks. You can get the free written pattern on my blog, or if you prefer, you can purchase the PDF file on my Etsy shop that you can print. The links are in the description and thank you so much for the support if you decide to purchase from my Etsy shop. <laughs> the number in parentheses is the number of stitches to have at the end of the round or of the row. My creations are crocheted using the yarn over technique and I work rounds in spiral. If sometimes the video goes too fast, you can slow it down in the YouTube reader in the setting and let's get started. 
Let's start with the body and the head of the cheek. So for cheek number one, you will need a hook 10 mm and jumbo yellow yarn. And for cheek number two, hook 8 mm, super bulky yellow yarn with bulky fluffy yarn. So you start by making a magic ring and in the magic ring you will make six single crochet. So I always tell you to avoid like breaking the yarn, make sure you make one single crochet and start closing the magic ring. So don't wait until the last single crochet to close, if not it will break your yarn. So you see I make one single crochet, I close a little bit, another single crochet, I close a little bit more. Voilà, so you make six single crochet in the ring. So now you make six increases. So one increase is two single crochet in the same stitch and it will give you 12 stitches at the end of the round. Then round number three is one single crochet, one increase six times and it will give you 18 stitches. Then we make two rounds of increases. So round four, two single crochet, one increase six times. And round five is three single crochet, one increase six times. That gives you 30 stitches at the end of round five. So round six and round eight, grab your lap counter because we will make three rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. So you don't need to do anything, just single crochet, no increase, no decrease, regular single crochet for three rounds. Then round number nine, three single crochet, one decrease six times. You should have 24 stitches at the end of round nine. Round 10, two single crochet, one decrease six times. So you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So for round 11, we will only crochet in the front loop. So you see is what I show you in the video. So only in the front loop and you will make two single crochet, one increase six times. So when I say only the front loop is instead of crocheting in two loops, you only crochet in one loop, you see? So round 12 is still only in the front loop and you will make one single crochet in each stitch, each stitch, sorry. Round 13, one single crochet in each stitch, but this time you do it in both of the loops. So no more front loop only. Now on round 13, you will place a thread on the 10th single crochet and one on the 14th single crochet. This will help you to place the safety eyes a little bit later. So you will see, you see I block the yarn and I will count. One, two, three, na na na. And once you get to the 10th single crochet, you put a thread and then you count again to go to the 13, 14, sorry, one, four. <music> 
then round 14, one single crochet in each stitch. Fifteen will be two single crochet, one decrease six times, so you should have eighteen stitches at the end of the round. Now I will show you on the video, place the safety eyes between round 13 and round 14 where the threads were, you remember where you place the threads, and there are three stitches between the, the eyes. If you notice that the safety eyes are not positioned like uh, in the picture or in the video, or not aligned, don't hesitate to reposi reposition them. It can be slightly different because of difference of tension. So I will show you in the video how it should look like. And don't forget to start stuffing uh, your cheek because we will start closing the round. So just start stuffing it. Don't overstuff it, you know, like make sure there is no holes between your stitches, but make sure to stuff it well so it has a nice shape. So now for round 16, we will make one single crochet, one decrease six times, and that will give you 12 stitches at the end of the round. Yeah, so you can keep stuffing it until the end. So round 17, last round, it's six decreases. So then we will close the round. So leave six inches of thread or 15 centimeters and cut it. Pass it through the loop to tie a knot and with the thread and the darning needle, pass through the front loops of the six previous stitches to close the circle. I will show you in the video. Once you are done, you can hide the thread with the needle and cut the excess. So I will show you in the video how to uh, close the round.
So now we will make the arms. So same thing as the body and head, chick number one hook 10 mm jumbo yellow yarn. And for chick number two hook 8 mm super bulky yellow yellow yarn mixed with bulky fluffy yarn. So you start with a magic ring and you make six single crochet in the ring. For round number two, you will make one single crochet, one increase three times, and it will give you nine stitches at the end of this round. So once you are done, you can cut the yarn and make an invisible finish. So I will show you in the video, an invisible finish is just creating a fake stitch to, to make it more discreet. So I will just show you in the video how to do so. Voila, and now you can repeat for the second arm because the little chick need, needs <laughs> two arms. Now we will do the assembly. So for the beak, uh, uh, we will just embroider the beak with orange chunky yarn. I pass the yarn back and forth twice to make the beak a little bit thicker. I will show you. So you see there is like two two threads. I will show you in the video how I did just so it's a little bit thicker and once you are done you can hide the thread in the head. So I will show you so you you see you go exactly between the eyes. So now for the arms, you will see in the video I decided to glue them just because it was faster for me to film, but you can also sew them on the sides of the body. You can also add a little bit of stuffing inside to make, um, to make them puffier. I didn't do it on the video because it was puffy enough for me, but you can add some stuffing. And if you sew, it will be easier for you to use a curved darning needle that are listed in the supplies. Um, and I also recommend you to use wooden stick to place all the elements first and then to glue and sew them. So I will show you on the pictures first so you see where they are placed. 
I use like wooden stick to make them to keep them in place and then I, I decided to sew, to glue them. And now for the feet, so they are placed on round number four. So I will show you on the video how to count the rounds. They cover four stitches and there are three stitches between them. So I, I will show you. So you, you will use about like 27 inches, 68 centimeters for cheek one and 12 inches or 30 centimeters for cheek two for each of the, um, of the feet. So you will use orange yarn and a darning needle. You will pass the yarn back and forth in stitch one and stitch four several times to create a bump and then you tie a knot and hide the threads. So I will show you in the video exactly how I did. So here I count the round one, two, three, four. And then I place them a little bit, you see under the, under the arms and it covers four stitches. Voilà. So this is the right side and then I will show you the left side. So for the hair, I chose to do the hair for chick number one only. I just think it was cute. And I liked the design of chick two without the hair. But that's totally up to you. If you like the hair on chick two, you can make the hair. So I used three small pieces of thin yellow cotton yarn and I pass them through the stitch on top of the head and uh, tie a knot. So I will show you in the video, it's very easy. And then I gave them a little bit uh, of a haircut to make sure they are at the same length. I think that was my favorite part of the pattern to give the little haircut. So see, I will, I will show you how to pass the thread, the yarn on top of the head and you just make like a classic knot.
know you are ready for Easter. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As I said earlier, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you have suggestions for more tutorials and stuff, let me know also. I'm really happy to hear all your ideas and everything. I wish you the best Easter. Uh, enjoy your family, your friends, the food. I see you very soon for a new tutorial. Please take care and bye bye.